Hey guys, good morning. So I just thought I'd throw, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> frog in the throat. So I just thought I'd put something quickly together. Uh, I normally don't do this. Uh, is a plan or is my plan to uh, show you what goes on behind the scenes. So I'm actually recording myself and my screens just to show you actually what goes down so i'm just watching a video here as well and i got some music in the background so yeah let's just jump into uh lightroom quickly so here we go i'm opening up lightroom and this is a shoot i've done for my client last week uh, i've also done multiple other shoots two weeks ago a week ago so i'm currently working on between 10 to 15 photo shoots a day we i can't complete one you know uh, some some photo shoots like if it's an hour shoot it will take two to three hours to edit um multiple shots different lighting techniques and so forth uh, but i want to jump into this specific shoot because this was a studio shoot that we done actually at my client's premises so let's just show you here quickly so we've done some work for our client uh, this is a second function for them or second shoot for them we've done uh the uh, in function as well so they opted for uh, a different look this time because they want the their their staff members because they are in, an international company as well they just want an international look and feel so um this is a clean look that i went for this is basically a four light setup so we have two lights on either side to illuminate um their staff member let's just call our staff member joe okay so here's joe over here uh, we posed him hands folded so he looks very really comfortable and obviously not just comfortable but um, more he feels more relaxed and confident in this look so okay image was shot two lights on either side one full light from the front and then a spill light to the back as you can see over there so I'm actually in Lightroom uh, and this is for uh, but, uh, what we call bulk editing or group editing as such uh, on my other screen I'll just show you now I can't show you that screen actually but I'll just show you how it looks on the other side so this is actually all the photos that were taken as you can see there's over 600 different shots of these um, I think it was 89 staff members so it was various shots because we did double shots and triple shots of some people because some people um, we were trying to pose them correctly and so forth so here we go so I'm going to start editing right away. Image looks fairly good. As you can see, this is how I shot in camera, but I want to actually enhance the image a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first adjust the color. So I'm happy with it. It looks a bit yellow for me. Now, when the image looks yellow, it's a bit too warm. So if you can look on the slide over here, if we go to orange, it'll look to orange. You know, that's what we call hot. If we go to blue, it looks too cold. So the ideal temperature is around about 45, 4600. That's how I feel um the image should look drop up, up his highlights uh somewhat a little bit of shadow as you can see there uh, uh, already as you can see the detail and that's what we call catch lights in his eyes that is actually oh actually nice so what i'll do is i'm gonna drop the black slightly and up the contrast so we can separate the subject from the backdrop and then i'm just gonna just adjust the adjust sorry about tongue to the adjust the curves level so overall that is super fantastic i'm gonna just crop the image slightly as you can see that's the middle over there i just run straight through down to the bottom and then just cut but of the bottom off slightly so i'm quite happy with that that's how that image looks and then we've got a second look so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy uh, the settings to the next image and i'll just show you the second image shortly as you can see at the bottom here where i'm working so I'm going to see all of the settings uh, that we get the same look and feel for everything after the second image. And this is the second image over here with the red light that's coming through from this side uh, at the back of the subject as well as the front, I mean uh, left and right. Overall the crop is somewhat too much so I'm just going to crop it like that as the lines are balanced. So this normally takes five minutes per image um but because i'm gonna do quite a lot of images i'm gonna bulk or batch process these images so it'll take about two to three hours overall i like that look it looks well positioned well lit and and this actually gives uh international look and feel in my eyes i think i'll just up the whites a bit over here and the highlights somewhat more 
a little bit of exposure there. I'm fairly happy with that. So that is the one image and this is the second image. And if we look at this, this is actually what it looked like before. Before and after. Overall, great image, uh, great company, and we are very happy uh, with this final result. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Till the next one. This is labor intensive doing this kind of videos. But yeah, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.